Hello, it's Brenda and this is the Healing Power of Story. In today's video, I want to talk to you about what is a memoir. There seems to be some confusion between what is a memoir and what is an autobiography. Are they the same thing or are they different? I'll deal with this in a different video. I just want to say today for this video that a memoir is not an autobiography. They are quite different. They serve different purposes, different functions. They're even written differently. So we'll do a video on the difference between that and it'll be coming up quite soon. So if you want to make sure you don't miss it, feel free to subscribe to my channel. But I want to say this today, we want to look at what is a memoir. And let's start with that by looking at the word. The word itself, I think I'm safe to say, comes from the French word la mémoire, which means a memory or a remembrance. Pretty straightforward. We also get the word memorandum from the word la mémoire. And that in itself also tells us a little bit about the structure of memoir. A memorandum is normally a shorter, more condensed version about something. It's not the whole event. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's not the whole event. It's just a synopsis of something. So let's go back to what is a memoir. There is a definition that I think if you gr grasp this definition, you'll actually grasp what is a memoir. A memoir is about you and your life from your perspective, which is why it's anecdotal. Okay, I'm going to say that again. A memoir is about you and your life from your perspective, which is why it is anecdotal. So let's unpack that statement. First of all, a memoir is about you and your life from your perspective. Okay, it's about you, not about your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, or somebody else. They may feature in your memoir, but they're actually there to support your story. You are the leading character in your memoir. They are the side characters and they are the ones that support the story that you're wanting to tell about your story from your perspective. So let's take it, unpack it a little bit. Say you're wanting to tell a story that involves an event, a happening in your past where there were other people at this event. You have your perspective of what happened at the, in that situation and they have theirs. And you know what? That's okay. Even when you get to a crime scene or an accident scene, nobody really remembers the story of what actually happened, even though they were all there exactly the same way. It's the same with your memory and your memoir. You write it from your perspective. It's your story. You get to tell it the way you saw it, even if it is at odds with somebody else's. That doesn't mean you tell lies. No, but it does mean you're free to tell the story from your perspective, even if it doesn't match up with somebody else's. Okay, so it's a story about you and your life from your perspective. And then that last comment, which is why it's anecdotal. Anecdotal means that it doesn't have to be verified as factual truth. Again, it doesn't mean that it's a lie. It just means that it's your perspective and it's the way you saw it. And perhaps you tell the story in such a way as to solidify and support a theme you're wanting to explore in your memoir. And we'll talk more about that in the video. That's actually a good element and a crucial element about memoir is a theme. Okay, so it's anecdotal. It's telling your perspective from your story. And even if it clashes a little bit with somebody else's, it doesn't matter. Another thing to keep in mind is you get to write your story your way. And somebody else, if it involves a particular person in your life, for example, my memoir involved my mother. Now, my relationship with my mother could have been quite different from her relationship with any of my brothers. And my experience of her could be quite different from one of my brothers, for example. And so that also then doesn't have to come down to, well, we've got to try find the true representation of who that person was to, to two or three people. You write it from your perspective of that person, even if somebody else's experience of that person is different. Okay, so that is what a memoir is. And so now let's look at the purpose of a memoir. The purpose of a memoir is to share a story about your life that's based on a theme, or it's about wanting to make a point about your life that you want to convey to the reader, 
or there's a, a truth in your story, some life truth that you want to share with the reader. That actually is something that makes it quite unique from an autobiography. As I said, we'll do that in another video, but just keep that in mind. The purpose of a memoir is to convey a life truth, to, to speak to a particular theme or to share a perspective about your life. And I'm going to illustrate this by using the book, the memoir, Educated by Tara Westover. In this memoir, Tara Westover wants to share with the reader her story of being raised uneducated and how she actually got to go to a college or a university at the age of 18 or 19 with virtually no formal education behind her and how that actually shaped her life, how she then within 10 years achieved a PhD. It's quite a phenomenal story. But in sharing her memoir and her life story, Tara Westover is actually expressing the theme on education. She's not only telling her story, she's also sharing her perspective on education and what education is and how it's impacted her life. That is her theme. And by choosing her theme for memoir on educated, everything else about her story feeds into that theme. And that's what makes it a memoir. So memoir is a theme that you actually tell your story through. And the last thing I'm going to want to look at today in this video is the structure of a memoir. This is what I find is so, so wonderful about memoir. If you're frightened about writing a memoir, don't be. Because memoir actually is very forgiving. It's not necessarily always easy, but it's very forgiving in that you can choose almost any structure form you want in order to write a memoir. It's very fluid, it's anecdotal, it's narrative, and it can take on almost any form you like. And we'll deal with that in another video too, the different types of memoir that there are. And so I'm just gonna leave that with you for today. Stay connected, stay in tune with me if you're wanting to know more about memoir. But I'm just wanting today to have looked at what is a memoir, what it's not, just briefly, compared to an autobiography. The purpose of a memoir, remember, it's about theme and, and a point you want to convey to the reader. And the other item is the structure, that it's really very fluid. And there's one thing, a tidbit I'm going to leave you for, that's just going to leave you hankering for a little bit more, I hope, and it's this. That as much as I've said the memoir is about you, it actually, at the end of the day, isn't about you, it's about your reader. And that is really also a very distinctive difference from autobiography, where autobiography is about you and not the reader. Memoir is actually all about the reader, but telling it through your story. Okay, so I'm going to leave that with you for today. That is what is a memoir. And stay tuned, I'll see you in the next video.